When an inmate escaped from St. Mary's Hospital just before 6 a.m. on Saturday, August 12th, he quickly headed from Henrico County, where the hospital is located, into the city of Richmond, which is just steps away. Once there, police say he broke into a man's home and stole his car keys, some money, and credit cards. But most Richmonders had no idea an inmate was on the loose, even as police helicopters flew overhead and officers canvassed the streets. We checked local news. We checked uh, Virginia statewide incidents on Facebook. They will report on big events and didn't see anything going on. That's because the city opted not to send a text alert to their residents who live in the area. A spokesperson for the department initially told us that was because of the, quote, wide dispersal of information to the public by the lead agencies. It should be on Richmond police to alert the citizens of what's going on. At a recent press conference, we took neighbors' concerns straight to RPD Chief Rick Edwards. Are you planning on doing anything different if something like this happens in the future that's in a neighboring jurisdiction, but it's right over the line from the city? Well, I think that's where there was a bit of a disconnect. If this had taken place in the city, we felt it would have met the criteria for Code Red, but I, I take your point in the sense that it was on the border and it did affect one of our residents. There is a, there is a, like a reverse 911 that we think in the future, if we have an incident like that, we'll make the decision to, to push that out to our community because I, I've heard that as well. So it sounds like going forward, you will consider sending out an alert in a situation yes. like that. Yes. Henrico residents who live near the hospital did receive a reverse 911 alert about the inmate, but not until nearly three hours after the escape. We certainly would not have left our home had we known that this person was, you know, on the run. CBS 6 has asked Henrico police several times why they waited that long to send out the alert, and they have never directly answered our question. Instead, they released a statement to the community saying they recognized the concerns but still did not explain the reason for the wait. When our Cameron Thompson attempted to ask Chief Eric English about the alert last month, English said he had already talked to CBS 6 crime insider John Burkett about the situation, but Burkett Cat says he never spoke with the chief about the escape. We've already sent a message out about what we did. I'm not going to that anymore. For my own benefits inside here, can you tell me why it took two hours to request? 